Lumina's simplified and hardened extensible open source controller. We take the open daylight standard distribution and we harden it. We harden it with testing, uh, system testing, scale testing. We document it, we package it. Um, it's carrier grade operational support. It's scalable, it's extensible, and we also add intelligence with our applications. ST Core in 5G. There are two problems in 5G networks. There are overlay management for compute nodes that move between data center compute and mobile edge compute. So we offer a network service mesh overlay manager. And there is the underlay problem in, in 5G where we have MPLS networks and we have to manage network slicing in 5G networks. So we offer Lumina Networks Resource Manager, which is our SD Core product that does the network slicing in 5G. This is what we're showing today. We have the Lumina Networks Resource Manager that is an application that sits inside Open Daylight. It has path computation engines for packet network, optical network, and flow, open flow networks. That sits on top of, underneath the orchestration layer, and the orchestration layer signals via REST comp to the um, NRM that then runs an application in the SDN controller, which then sits on top of the network domains through using protocols like BGP, PCEP, and BGP labeled unicast, we can configure paths through optical, uh, open flow networks, and IP packet networks. This is the Lumina platform architecture. We take the standard open source community distribution of open daylight, we add some applications in there, our flow manager sits in there, we take the inherited projects from the community and we harden those projects from the community and we add a microservices architecture we call the Lumina Extensible Application Platform. We can then do additional applications in there, we'll do service mapping, workflow engine and Yang model schema translations. This is a demonstration we're showing today. We have optical layer management with Lumina Flow Manager, we have packet layer management with Lumina Network Resource Manager, and we have an open flow network which sits underneath an IP packet network. So we have two domains that are run by a single path computation engine called Lumina Network Resource Manager. This is the topology. We have the packet nodes. So these are Arista routers that sit underneath the controller with programmed with BGP labeled unicast and BGP link state for the topology. And underneath we have a simulated optical network we're using Lumina Flow Manager. We connect these networks together via interfaces that connect into the optical network. So this, this router here connects to this switch, this router here connects to this switch, and that's the link between the two domains. This is the services that we orchestrate with the path computation engine. We have router one, goes to router two, to router four, to router six, and this is a segment routing path and we set that up with Lumina Network Resource Manager, which is the PCE. And underneath, we have the optical layer, and we have some point-to-point -point packet services that connect these devices. So this router here connects into this optical switch and has a link to this optical switch, then goes back to this router here. This is the demonstration topology in detail. We have the packet links between these four routers in the core, and we have some point-to-point -point links that run through the OpenFlow simulator optical network. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send packets between router 1 to router 6. And when we send packets to router 1 router 6, we have two choices of paths. And these are segment routing paths. We can go by router 4 for the northbound path. We can go from router 5 to the southbound path. And we set up these paths using BGP labeled unicast. And then we have this, this optical topology in here. And these links go through there. And we're going to be breaking these links to show the reroutes of IP packet networks. So that we'll see segment routing will reroute to the lower path if we break the, top of the upper link. This is the GUI for Lumina Flow Manager. This shows the nine optical switches in the network. This is what we'll see when we break or remove a switch. We will see the topology changes. And the topology gets updated. And we'll see the topology change. This is the PCE GUI the Lumina Network Resource Manager. And what we see, we see the six routers connected. We don't see the optical domains because they're hidden, but we see the paths that are actually connected between router one and router six. And that's taking the northbound path. We have path constraints, which we go, um, we pick router four as our path constraint. When we break the, the link between router four and router two, what we see is the path will be rerouted by router four because that's the path constraint. So we'll see that in the topology, in the demonstration. So the key takeaway is we have a single controller instance controlling both the packet and optical domains. We have a single, single topology database maintaining the topology for multiple layers, so the optical and the packet domain in a single topology database. 
we have Lumina Networks Resource Manager running a domain agnostic PCE. So domain agnostic means that we run an optical domain, we run a packet domain, we can run several different types of domains with one PCE. And it can deal with both topologies simultaneously, so we, we can see the optical and the packet in the one controller. So this is the demonstration, and what we're seeing is we're seeing the the flow manager network with this optical network and we're seeing the packet network. We're running some packets between these two nodes and we're going to break a link on this switch or remove a switch from the layer 2 topology. And what we'll see is we'll see the network reconverge. And when it breaks, we see the packets going through. So we refresh this and we will see the network has, has changed, the topology has changed. And now we'll refresh this screen and we'll see that the break in the optical network is reflected in a break in the packet link network here. And now we see that the path has gone via the, the southern route. We've, this link has been removed from the topology because it's a broken optical link. And Network um, Resource Manager has remapped <coughs> that service to go via the constraint node 4. So it's, it's re-updated that path. What we will do, we will now repair this um, break in the optical topology. And we will see that the um, optical topology will be relearned. We will have a topology update. And then we'll, <coughs> we will see an update in the layer 3 topology. So the layer 2 topology is now fixed. We've got the original topology back. We were going to refresh this topology. And what we'll see, we'll see the original path that prior to the, or the break, broken path will still go via this constraint. Once a PC learns that this link has come back, it'll reprogram the path. So we'll see that when this link comes back. Okay, so it's, it came back, and now we see the path went that way before it quickly changes to the most efficient path. So the going this way is using a hop count of five, or four switches and going this way is a hop count of three switches in between the node one and node six. So this is a more efficient route and the Lumina PC reprogrammed that to take, uh, to restore the services. Why are Lumina Networks? We're the number one commercially deployed open daylight controller. We're installed in over a hundred customer networks, including three tier one production networks. We have won eight best of startup awards. We're funded by tier one customers including AT&T and Verizon and we're engaged in 22 open source projects.